if you're looking to create a gradient button just like this and you don't want to mess with all of this pseudo element code here we can accomplish the same exact gradient utilizing just a couple lines of code let's go ahead and show you how we can do it so I got rid of that unnecessary code and I created a new class just so that we can see what are the new lines of code that we need to put in here to get this to work. And the, the very first thing that we need to do in here is we need to utilize the border image. Now the border image property allows us to set an image as the border element, which is kind of cool. And we're going to just utilize that same gradient that we used before, transitioning from uh, blue to pink. Now we really can't see it on here and if you zoom in really closely on the four corners you'll see little squares well we need to just add one unit here which is the border image slice value and we need to apply one which means that we're going to utilize the entire transition here the linear gradient as the image for the border without any slicing whatsoever now if you do need to increase that border width then let's go ahead and apply a border width and we'll give it three pixels here so that's as easy as we can get it here utilizing a simple gradient around a button again without a pseudo class so hopefully you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching